use my wife's can opener. I'm sure she'll appreciate that. Okay, this is what's inside a can of Ready Whip whipped cream. Let's take a look inside a Ready Whip whipped cream can. I was on my deck the other night and I was uh, sitting with some family and friends and we were talking about my Cheese Whiz video and um, what was inside a Cheese Whiz can. So then we got to talking about what was inside a whipped cream can. So I bought these over at the wholesale store, the largest, the largest versions of Ready Whip they make, 15 ounces per can. There were many theories the other night. Some people were thinking there might be a bladder, kind of like what I think is in a shaving cream can. I haven't opened that up. Maybe a piston or something like that. Maybe under this cap here and inside of here is some sort of special mixing valve or maybe it's just whipped cream. I don't know. So I'm going to start by just emptying a whipped cream can to see how much whipped cream is in it. And I've got these two other bottles here just to kind of show you for a frame of reference as to the size of it. And then we're going to empty the gas out of a whipped cream can and then saw it off to the side and take a look inside. At least that's the theory. I originally speculated they're using nitrous oxide because um, it's a fun gas, but it also tastes sweet. But as it turns out, according to the Ready Whip website, it says it is a mixing and foaming agent and when under pressure, dissolves into fat which means to me it dissolves into the fat, gets squirted out, and then expands out. And that's why they're using nitrous oxide. I'm going to empty one can of Ready Whip out to see how much whipped cream is in a can. That is how much whipped cream is in one can. Now that we've established how much whipped cream is in one can, one big empty can here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to depressurize this can but leave all the liquid in there and then cut a slot in it similar to what I did with the uh, Cheese Whiz can. So let's give that a shot. My theory is I can just let all the gas out like that. Whoops. I need a paper towel here of some kind. There's a little bit of carnage here. Okay, this is going to cause me a problem. Let's see if we can, uh, I think the whipped cream inside the can is expanding. Okay, so maybe that's not quite the right way to do it, but we're going to find out here. We're going to keep going a little more. Again, we're just trying to keep as much liquid in there as possible while getting rid of the gas. Now, I did see on someone else's video, they punctured it, and it shot like 15 feet with whipped cream everywhere. So I'm going to do my best not to do that today. Wow, this is very disappointing. I thought I could... I thought I could easily discharge this without it making a mess. Okay, wow. Dang. Look at that. Even vertical is <laughs> expanding. <laughs> okay. Well, take two, I suppose, is that is a fail. I thought I'd be able to discharge all the gas. As is with all these videos where you just don't know the outcomes, we have a can that's been completely emptied and should be depressurized. And we have a can that feels like it's half full and uh, even vertical, the whipped cream is shooting out. So we are going to just change course and we're going to do it a little different. 
We're just going to cut this can open like this from the sides. I think it's aluminum, which my, my uh, Dremel works pretty well with. And we'll see what we can do here. Let's just make sure it's empty. Take out any remaining gas. You know, this nitrous oxide was originally called laughing gas. So if I start laughing uncontrollably, it's just because I've hit it all out. Okay, so we have one empty can. That's the new version of this. So we are going to cut this can open and uh, see what's inside. Okay, we'll start with, this is a steel can, so we're having no progress here. Turns out to be steel, because I think steel is, uh, can handle the pressure. I bet nitrous oxide has more pressure than whatever they're using to propel a cheese whiz can. So let's see if we can just get on here and crack it open. Use my wife's can opener, I'm sure she'll appreciate that. Yep, that's working. That's completely working. It's a little, it's a little warped, but overall, it's working. Whoops! There goes some whipped cream out the bottom. Protect the tools. All right. So nothing, nothing to report here on the bottom of a can. Okay, here is what's inside the bottom of a can of Ready Whip. Yeah, after being disappointed yesterday, I felt like I was taking the easy way out by simply running the can opener along the bottom here. So I'm gonna to try to cut this open again, but the long way. After I make a hellacious mess here, see what happens if I go upwards. <laughs> That's a very, very sad draining of this can. I try to leave as much liquid in as I can, but... Okay, there we go. Okay, I think that's enough. Put the cap on, just keep the carnage out. Still some liquid in there, but not very much. And I've been thinking about different ways to cut this open. I do have actual proper cutoff wheels, so I'm sure somebody else has said, like, well, why don't you just use a cutoff wheel, right? But I decided that instead of a cutoff wheel, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to cut it with my oscillating tool. It's a little violent. Let's get a drill bit out first. All right, here we go. We are going to drill a hole into this side of this can. <laughs> Even with all of that. Oh man, look at that. All in my drill. Let me wonder why it's sticky for a long time. Okay. So yeah, the whipped cream, even once you've drained the whole can, um, continues to have a lot in it. I think that's just funny. So, oh, look at that go. Okay, well that is sweet smelling, um, but holy moly, what a mess. Got it all over my mic too, just splattered everywhere. Just not thinking this through very well today. So as promised, uh, probably a can about a third full of Ready Whip. It's actually a, surprisingly amount, a surprising amount of it is actually sloshing in there right now. Okay, this is what's inside. A can of Ready Whip, whipped cream. Managed to cut it around the side. You 
can see all the foaming whipped cream in there. It's just lots of foam because this is about a third full. It was the only way that I could get it to empty. And uh, we'll just dump the rest of that in here just so we can get at the bottom. And you can take a look right here. You can see there's nothing special. There's no piston in here. There's no bladder. It's just cream and nitrous oxide. And the valve, if you look right here, is just a really simple rubber seal with, you can see me as I move it, the little nubble moves back and forth. And that's what allows the, the whipped cream with the infused gas to escape. That is what's inside a whipped cream can. If you liked this video and found it interesting, please like and subscribe. It means a world of difference to me and it's only one click for you. Please like and subscribe.